what is the real difference between Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon and Bordeaux? <laughs> First, let's talk about what they have in common. Both contain Cabernet Sauvignon, but using a completely different assemblage, which is just the word for recipe in wine lingo. Both come in price ranges from inexpensive to very expensive. Both are age worthy. Both should contain the basic fruit flavor of cassis, AKA black currants. Both are matured in barrels with some level of oak. And that's it. So what's different? For one thing, the places are different. Napa has a Mediterranean climate. Do, do, do. Think of Hawaii. Not really. Anyway, and it's located in Southern California versus the maritime climate of Bordeaux, which is located in Southwest France. Bordeaux is influenced by the Garonne estuary. This estuary is a very large body of water. It travels deep inland. Bordeaux is separated into two subregions, making two completely different styles of wines. Communes, as they are called, are either on the right bank or the left bank of the Garonne. <laughs> Mm, just have to take a sip of my Bordeaux. Anyway, Cabernet Sauvignon is the main component and focus on the left bank and the Garonne estuary. And since we're talking about and comparing Cabernet Sauvignon, we're going to talk about the left bank only right now. The right bank doesn't usually contain Cabernet at all, which accounts in part for the different flavor profile. Napa Valley is also influenced by the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay, immediately to the west. Mm. I just had a sip of Napa Valley Cab. In Napa Valley, the premium wines usually consist of 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. In Bordeaux, the left bank is composed of mostly Cabernet with lesser amounts of Merlot and very small amounts, usually like 1 to 6% each, of Cabernet Franc and Petit Bordeaux. The amounts of each grape used uh, varies depending on the vintage and the producer. Why the difference of grapes planted in left bank Bordeaux versus California? Very simple. The climates are completely different. Napa Valley is a warm Mediterranean climate and Cabernet Sauvignon needs plenty of sun and heat to ripen properly, which it does in California, either by the climate or by the grapes being picked later, which is what we call hang time. However, traditionally, the maritime climate of Bordeaux is often sketchy with unpredictable temperatures and weather and a lot less sun. Therefore, the grapes don't always fully ripen. This is where other earlier ripening varieties come into play, such as Merlot. This blend helps make the Cabernet fruitier and less harsh, rounding out its edginess. The maturation and treatment is very different as well. California typically uses more new French oak, which imparts a characteristically strong oak flavor of vanilla adding to both its softness because of oak maturation and its ripe sensation of sweetness, making it seem more like a black cherry or currant, black currant dessert pie, okay? Flavor profiles of premium Bordeaux are more on the level of fresh fruit such as cassis, um, blackberries and plums, you'll feel a very bright acidity and a lot of what we call furry tannins in your mouth. Remember the tannins are the drying sensation that you feel when you're drinking red wine. The wines can be austere when young, so they really should be held for a number of years before drinking. The number of years to hold a Bordeaux depends on the vintage and the producer. When aged properly, the wines develop complexity, leaning toward aromas of and flavors of uh, tobacco, pencil shavings, cedar box, vanilla, sometimes violets, 
and like an umami thing, which is like meat juices. In addition, alcohol levels will be around 13.5% and the wine will be medium in body. Formerly, the ABV levels would be around 12.5%, but there has been an increase in ripeness and therefore alcohol due to climate change. The color will also be a ruby red in youth, but will develop colors of garnet with age and will also lighten in color intensity. This alarms people, but that's normal. Color can vary, but can start after the wine is about mm, five years old, getting increasingly garnet and lighter in intensity with age. The tannins or drying sensations you'll feel in your mouth will also start to round out, becoming less harsh and smoothing out with age, both with Napa Cabernet and Bordeaux. So Napa Valley Cabernet's high level of ripeness will be responsible for a few aspects of its flavor profile. They will be high in alcohol, these days hovering around 14.5%. The wine will seem sweeter, jammier, and lower in acidity. So in other words, it will be easier drinking and softer right after it's released from the vineyard. You'll find the flavors are closer to black currant jam with plenty of vanilla. So now that you understand the differences between Napa Valley Cabernet and Bordeaux, you'll be able to pick the best choice for yourself and your dinner. Santé!